The next participant we have is Brother Azran Chan from Malaysia. Brother Azran Chan is 48 years young, alhamdulillah. He embraced Islam when he was 16 years old in the year 1985. He is currently employed as a muballigh at Malaysia Chinese Muslim Association Central Committee called as MACMA. Brothers and sisters, let's welcome Brother Azran Chan to speak on the topic, Be a Muslim by Choice. Brother Azran Chan from Malaysia. Takbir. Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalam Ala rasulullah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba' Auzubillahi sami'u alim Minas syaitan rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa kul ja'al haq Wa za haqul batilu Inna batila kana zahuta My most respected elders, most beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, I welcome you with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. My topic of today talk is be a Muslim by choice, not by chance. Uh, before I start, I would like to clarify the definition of Islam. Islam derives from the word salam, which means peace. It also comes from the word sum which is total submission to the will of Allah the Almighty. Muslims are the ones who acquire peace through total submission to the Almighty God. Now if you ask a Christian, or a Hindu, or a Buddhist, what is the true religion? He will answer you that his religion is the true religion. Similarly, if you ask a Muslim, what is the true religion? And we will answer that Islam is the one and the only true religion. If you Analyze. Some religion believe in Trinity or Tridu Murti. Some believe in Pentalism. As for we Muslim, we believe in Monotheism. It's impossible that all the religion are true at the same time, because. The God who created me is the same God who created you. Oh. 
Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala has said in Surah Hujurat, chapter 49, verse 13, that we have created you in pairs, male and female, and we have made you in tribes and nations so that you know one and another. And the most noble in the sight of Allah is the one who is most righteous amongst you. Most Christians are Christians. Most Hindus are Hindus and most Buddhists are Buddhists just because their parents were Christians, Hindus, and Buddhists, respectively. Similarly, most Muslims are Muslim just because our parents were Muslims. And if the Christian were to read their Bible, in the book of Mark, uh, verse 12, verse, chap, chapter 12, verse 29, Jesus has, say, has answered to him. O Israel, the Lord, our Lord, is one Lord. And if the Hindus were to read the Chandogma Upanishad, chapter one, chapter six, verse one. It says, "Ikam divid, ikam ivad nitriam," which means he is one and only, not two. He is one, not two. And if we read the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in Surah Al-Ikhlas, chapter 112, verse 1, Kul hu Allahu ahad, say that he is Allah, one and only. And in the Surah Al Imran, chapter 3, verse 64. Allah says, Come to a common term that we and you worship none but Allah. I would like to end my talk with a statement that be a Muslim by choice. Not by chance. Wa akiru na'wana walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Takbir. Allahu Akbar.